you're not arguing about the role of government, what are you arguing about? You're arguing about stuff, right? I'll just give you a great example. Uh, and I can give you a thousand examples. The debate over the prescription drug benefit. What is the debate? Well, the debate is really obvious. You know, that no matter where you stand on the subject, you recognize, or w would recognize, I think, that the debate is, should the federal government be providing this benefit? Does the Constitution imply uh, some sort of guarantee to older Americans that the federal government's going to pick up, you know, a portion of your prescription drug bill? That's the core debate. Again, no matter where you stand on no matter where you come down on it, I think you would agree that's the argument. Uh, I'm struck by the fact that argument is not taking place. I mean, it's taking place on crossfire. There may be some, you know, far out wacko libertarian congressional district in like Idaho or something where people are arguing this uh, and good for them. But on the Hill, uh, that's not the debate. The debate is solely about how much, with both parties promising basically to give a more generous or more efficient, which is another way of saying generous, benefit, right? That's the argument, essentially. Uh, it's not a philosophical argument. Again, it's an argument about stuff. Well, that's fine, except that's always an argument uh, that Republicans are likely to lose. Why? Well, because Democrats simply have a more plausible case uh, if the argument is who's going to give you more. In other words, if two candidates come to you, a Republican and a Democrat, both promising you more stuff, uh, I don't care who you are, I don't care if you're as conservative as I am, you're going to believe the Democrat. You just are. You know, if the question is, you know, how much more government goodies uh, am I going to give you, the Democrat just has more credibility, always, uh, on that question. So, in my opinion, um, the Republican Party has sort of set itself up philosophically, uh, if not for a fall, then for a pretty rough road uh, ahead because it's allowed itself to be sucked into an argument um, where it stands at just a profound, uh, profound disadvantage. Thanks so much for watching this video. To watch our latest video, click here. And to make sure you don't miss any future videos, be sure to subscribe.